out there that has as many colorful personalities. That's either. very true. And speaking of the talent behind this community, I want to just run through quickly. Some of those intro videos were done by Seth Mussey. All of this, basically, yeah. every part of this production came straight from the community. That's right. Those I intro videos done by Seth Mussey. Uh, Balrog, behind the, that uh -huh. amazing movie we saw. Uh, part, Maj was part of putting that together. A right. uh, winner of the Canon Award. Uh, and obviously a uh, great combo creator and theorist of the game. The combo video by Desk. The music right. also by Desk. A uh, hype video, right, that hype video that right. got corrupted by Richard right, Lee, a part right. of the community. And, uh, and uh, all the music for all the intro videos that Seth Moosey made, I actually sought out. I did, Fanatic did one, Desk did one, Jibbo, the game player, did one, Desk did one, and Red Rapper did one. I got the entire community to help create the music for those intros. That is amazing, and of course the Evo theme we haven't talked about with Red Rapper, Yipes, Shizza, and Mike Ross all contributing and to that. Sauce as well, too. Choice Sauce. Unbelievable contributions, but now it's going to be an unbelievable match. Fuko up against Fudo. Fudo, a relatively traditional player. Saw made a lot of smart reads, very smart adjustments in his game, but very smart adjustments difficult against Seth, who's just a bag of craziness and tricks. He's one of those players that's wow, really uppercut versus uppercut. James, he's so aggressive in his gameplay, but in person, he's like the shyest guy I've met so far. Oh, what he's is going doing on? Again. This is the Yomi master. He's gotten Fudo scared. Fudo doesn't sure what to do, isn't sure what to do. This is ridiculous. Another perfect against one of the top players in the world. And the tanded vortex there build a little extra meter. Fudo. How many perfects has he gotten so far? That is the name of Seth's game. When he blows you up, you get blown up hard. I've always said it a long time ago. I've said it throughout all three versions of this game. When Seth is on, you might as well be the training dummy. That's basically how it looks. Shout out to the cross hands in the background. <laughs> and in comes Puko. Uh-oh. We had the meter oh. to cancel at that time. Speaking of good reads, good read there by Fudo to go into his own uppercut FADC. Fudo, oh. whoa, nice option select. Oh, here we go, Dizzy. Now Puko down. And I also like Fudo doing that. You saw him whip two rectas and go for the command throw. All three of those actions, building meter for himself, but not his opponent. There Smart play there from Fudo. And we have seen Punko unload those level three focus attacks. He's not shy about it. He's, oh, wow. Such reactions there, but not in time. It's pile driven for his trouble. All right, here goes the mix ups. What has Fudo got? Oh, wow. Stand fierce, another great read. Oh, oh, once again! Do you think that's gonna get you out of there? Level three focus, tandem engine. Oh, it's style council. Oh, no. oh, it gets out of that reset. I do love that reset from Puko, but Fudo says, "Is that out of there with that kid?" Ooh, nice oh, nice back dash. Oh no, he's running out. This oh, is it. Ultra. Fudo's and gonna that take is gonna this really game. hurt. And Puko may have finally gone too far. Final crazy risk, I think, honestly, I mean, you don't want to question someone's flow, but at that point, I think he needed to scale it back a little bit and not able to do it. Game one, Fudo. Wow. Nice throw there. And the mix-ups begin. Oh, great option select there. He read that though. Has his actions already queued up. Now Standing forward, quite underrated, and Punko uses it quite frequently. Yeah, and interesting, Punko all of a sudden playing a much more defensive style. And that switch I was hoping for in the end of game one now, coming at the beginning. Oh, oh free two. juggle there off of that trade. Oh no, he baited it out. And we saw that at the very beginning, right before he got perfected, Fudo started baiting things out by jumping towards and dashing back. Most players uh, want to challenge on wake up. Nice. Shipping him out now, Punko on the verge of being sent to the loser's bracket, which is full of pillars. You can hear some unrest in the crowd here. No the adopted son, Punko, <laughs> is uh, in danger of being defeated. Basically, it seems like whoever the crowd likes has not been uh, doing too well, but here comes Punko. Oh, with the oh. tricks from the front. All right, potential dizzy here off of an SPD. Nope. Oh, and smart focus there. He's there still dizzy, and there's the dizzy. And he got the reset on the damage scaling, so that is going to be the end. And of course, once again, I mentioned how Fudo was smart building extra meter with those actions. That's why Punko was throwing out that tandem engine there before he finished them off. Just to build a little extra meter for the next round. You never know what you'll need. Good stuff. And he does make good use of those EX meters, both with his focus cancel. Seth doesn't rely on super or a meter, but he can certainly make great use of it. Wow! Ooh. 
one after another. Focus oh. after focus, uppercut on uppercut. And Puko all over him. And here comes the mix-ups. Oh, brilliant! Was it high, was it low? It was nothing in the pile driver. Dizzy potential here. Oh, oh that's going to be an opportunity. Oh, hard nice knockdown, hard knockdown ambiguous. combo. Punko just safe. trying to get out of there. Yep, yeah, e, uh, EX Rekka is now the second one. Is safe. He's being able to get it. Don't do the Ultra 2 because Ultra 1 will be able to get through that. I think it's not as invincible as it used to be. Oh no, he got him. He, he gets it. And that is the end and of Punko. What a read by Fudo. Getting that Ultra out to catch the back dash. Amazing play there. Amazing stuff. And Fudo is going to be in your grand finals here.